My dad had a fish tank and it was pretty dirty. So I grabbed a bottle of soap and dumped it in there. I even threw in a package of napkins and that went very well, the fish died. But a few years later, my dad was having less and less time to take care of the fish, so he gave them to me. I wanted to be a marine biologist, so it's an enjoyment and it also teaches you responsibility. My name is Oliver and I'm 12 years old and I am from Columbia, Maryland. I started Kumon at five and this is six and this was my first trophy. My mom, she wanted me to go because she thought it would be good in my life. It's like planting the seed so that when the child is older, the tree's already planted and you just have to worry about watering it and keeping it fresh. When he started, he was not that confident. They spoke a second language at home, so his parents were really interested in having Oliver learn the reading program. I initially started with both the math and reading programs, but I stopped the math because I didn't really know how to do it. It was a bit too hard. As an instructor, I want to make sure that I find out whether the work was too difficult or there's something else going on. Once he started to master the reading skills, he picked up the math and was able to do it pretty well and pretty regularly. I finished the Kumon reading program at nine and I started the math again also at the age of nine and I'm almost finishing level M. Oliver is the thinking face of Kumon. If I walk by and I ask, how are you doing? It sort of breaks his concentration. So I've tended to really just let him sit and do the work independently. If I had a question, she would work it out with me. She would not tell me the answer, but how to solve it and how it's connected to previous problems or previous examples. What I notice about Oliver is that he's quite a perfectionist. He would make a number and then erase it and then do it again. So I asked my assistants not to correct him too quickly, and that skill, I think, has stayed with him. The thing I struggled with the most was probably repetition. I used to not like repetition. I thought it was boring. It used to be my mom was dragging me to do my Kumon work, but now I just do it. And I think that it just teaches you values, responsibility, and determination. You can use those traits in other things. Oliver was reaching some of the target goals in Kumon as he went along. Showing him the J6 path on a chart, I think is very motivating for a child who's competitive the way he is. He competes with himself and he really wants to strive for something higher. When I was little, I was motivated by the stickers, by the awards and that kind of stuff. But as I grew up, I think it's more rewarding to learn more things mentally than get something physically. I personally think about learning as a mountain. If you're climbing the mountain, it's not about reaching the top, it's about what you experience along the way. 